All right, so that is all the welding done, all the riveting done. I just made myself this little uh, clip for holding the ramp in, ramps in. Just slots down for him. I'll show you now. So it only actually needs one and it'll hold them in but you know they can't they can't go anywhere. I'm gonna put a bit of steel wire just connect all the clips and this onto here so that I can just pull all this out leave it hanging down while the ramps are out and then put them in they'll all be there and this will never get lost. I'm also gonna drill some holes in here just big enough to get like a bike lock through so I can lock the ramps through this uh, piece here. Alright so the last thing to do is we're going to go and stick a car on it and uh, see if it snaps in half. Alright, so that is uh, the recovery truck tested out. That car I put on was almost 1700 kilos and um, <clears throat> yeah, went on there fine. Learned a little lesson about um, winch and stuff on and where you connect the, the, the winch rope to the car. Um, I watched a guy winch a car on and he chucked the hook all the way under the car and hitched it to the tow bar and then winched it on like that and I wondered why he did it, but now I know. Um, obviously if you've got the the hook at, to one side of the car you can only get it so far before the angle of the rope is too much and it's pulling on it too much to actually pull it straight back up so learned that um, <clears throat> drove it over some um, pretty bumpy roads and to see if it would bottom out and it didn't it's it's got three springs on the back of that transit and once it hits down on that on that third spring there's like no movement in it so I think you could probably load that with quite a bit more weight and uh, not have any problems but so yeah that was 1700 kilos all my stuff's like a ton around a ton 
um, and like my Escort's about two foot shorter than that car. And that, that fitted on there fine. Uh, it was a bit of a pain reaching under and locking the ramps in like a few people said it would be but that's with a big car on there so with my stuff on it it's not going to be an issue. Um, so yeah I'm going to uh, give it a good service and I've got to clean out the cooling system I'm going to try the uh, washing up liquid no the um, washing detergent trick and the uh, dishwasher detergent one of the two give that a go and then um, on Thursday I'm going to be going and picking up the next project and uh, to give you a bit of a teaser as to what the next project is I've basically got a car from 2002 and a car from 1956 I'm going to be using the floor pan all the running gear, drivetrain, steering, suspension, everything from the 2002 car cutting the body off of the 1956 car and just sticking the body over the top of that connecting it all to the floor pan so old, old looking car with new-ish running gear build a nice roll cage for it and um, yeah it should be quite a should be quite a fast paced project and um, hopefully not take too long it's uh, it's got to be dragged out of a field where there's a lot of old cool stuff so if um, if I'm allowed to film around the property then there's going to be some good footage but I might not be able to but hopefully I will um, probably going to service the truck tomorrow night and then yeah go and pick that up on Thursday but um, yeah thanks for everyone that's watched Thanks to everyone that's uh, commented, and um, yeah, I think if you were interested in in watching that be built, I think you know everything from now moving forward is going to be a lot more interesting than uh, than that was. So, yeah. <laughs> what do you think of my truck? I love it. So that's it for this one. Um, cheers for watching, and I'll see you. No, See you in the next no, he's not. next few days. No, he's not. Thanks <laughs> for watching. See ya.